So let's start talking about derivatives uh, using math instead of just pictures, okay? So we're gonna cover three things in this short video. Notation, so how do you write derivative? Uh, second, we'll talk about the exponent rule. How do you take the derivative of an exponent? And then we'll also talk about how to take the derivative of logarithms, okay? And uh, there's more in the next videos, but these are the two main models that we're gonna use a lot. So for notation, you know, the derivative is usually, rep if you wanna have, if you have a very, uh, if you have y is a function of x, okay? So f of x here is saying that this is a function. It could be a function like three plus two x is equal to y. It could be a function like six x squared is equal to y. It could be a function like the log of x plus x cubed is equal to y, whatever you want. These are all different possible functions, okay? Not any ones that we'll probably use in this class, okay? So if you have this kind of framework, how do you denote the derivative? Well, you can use this notation, dy dx. That's the derivative of y with respect to x, okay? You can also write f prime of x, okay? Uh, they both are different ways of saying the same thing. This little prime up here, this little apostrophe is telling you to do this, okay? So how do you actually find the exponent? Well, let's go to the exponent rule here. So I'm trying to figure out how to scroll up. Scroll up, there we go. All right, so in general, if you have y equals a to the x raised to the power of n. You always use the same simple rule to find the derivative. The derivative of this is gonna be equal to, we keep the a, a is just some number, could be 10, 20, whatever. We take the exponent, we bring it down in front, n, and then we subtract one from the value, okay? So this is the derivative here. We've taken the n, brought it down in front, and subtracted one from it. So let's give a simple concrete example. So if we have three x squared, the derivative of this is equal to three times, we're gonna take the two, bring it down front, x raised to the power of two minus one, and we can simplify this a little bit. Three times two is equal to six. X raised to the power of two minus one. We could write one here, but we don't really need to, so I'm not going to. And it would be, you know, just another way of writing this is that this is also equal to the derivative, and this is just another way of, of writing that, okay? The last thing we're gonna use in this course are logarithms. We don't use them as much, but just a brief refresher. So in this course, we almost always use the natural log of x, okay? And as a reminder, what is this function? Well, this tells you that uh, the special variable e, which is about equal to 2.7, if you raise it to the power of x, uh, I'm sorry, if you raise this to the power of y, you get x. So e to the y is equal to x. That's what that tells us. Sometimes in the course, you'll see me write this. And if you do, it's almost always a mistake, and I mean this, okay? The reason, the, you know, the difference is what's this thing equal to? This, instead of an e, we use a 10, and it just means the derivative is a little bit harder to work with, okay? So if we have y equals the natural log of x, what's the derivative of that? Well, it's just one over x, okay? If we have y equals uh, six times the natural log of x, well, the derivative of that is just six times one over x, okay? So, not too tricky, I hope, but we're going to uh, start combining and making more complicated equations, but we're always gonna kinda use these as our building blocks, 
at least in this course, okay? And so if you know these and you know the tools for combining these building blocks together, you'll be fine.